Hello, my name is Michael Henry. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Molecular Physiology and Biophysics and Deputy Director of Research for the Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center. Today I'm going to tell you about the process of metastasis. Metastasis is the spread of cancer from one site in the body to other sites and is responsible for the vast majority of deaths from cancer. The reason is that when cancer spreads into other organs, it can disrupt their function and cause life-threatening consequences. I'm going to tell you about an example of metastasis from prostate cancer, uh, which is what my lab group works on, but it's applicable to many other types of tumors, such as breast and colon cancer. So the prostate is a small walnut-sized organ uh, in males, and the process of metastasis begins when cancer cells that are growing inside of the prostate, and I'm just showing you a tiny bit of the prostate, um, which is one of the glands, the cancer cells begin to fill up the glands and eventually break through a natural barrier in the, in the gland called the basement membrane. And when pathologists review samples of uh, biopsy specimens for prostate cancer patients, they're actually looking for this sort of, sort of behavior. That allows the cancer cells to spread locally within the organ, and they can even escape the organ and migrate into adjacent tissues. A second type of spread comes from when the cancer cells invade lymphatic vessels and that they can make their way to lymph nodes uh, in and around the prostate. And this is one of the reasons that when surgeons remove the prostate, they often uh, take away lymph nodes as well to determine whether the cancer has spread there. But by far the most devastating consequences of prostate cancer metastasis are when it spreads to other organs, such as the bone, which is the most frequent site of spread, liver, lungs, and occasionally into the brain. These have um, life-threatening consequences when the cancer begins to grow aggressively in these, in these organs. In order to gain access to those organs, the cancer cells have to invade blood vessels where they gain access to the circulation, and the circulatory system can carry them throughout the body. It's now possible to take a blood sample from a patient's arm and measure these so-called circulating cancer cells. There is a lot of research performed here at the Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center as well as worldwide attempting to understand what is it about that, that changes the behavior of these cells so that they invade tissues, gain access to the bloodstream and can ultimately survive and grow new tumors at these different sites. This information is important for two reasons. One, we may have a better understanding of predicting whether cancer is likely uh, to, to display this aggressive behavior. And secondly, with this knowledge, we may be able to forestall the spread of cancer to other organs or block its ability to grow uh, at these sites and therefore have a therapeutic benefit for patients.